Welcome to the channel everybody. My name is Ryan and this is Dot Age, a wonderful little city builder which I've fallen in love with. And I know there's a few of you guys out there who have also found some enjoyment with this game. Give me a shout out down in the comments. Let me know what you guys think of it. Have you purchased it? Did you put it on your wish list? Are you waiting for another big sale? But uh, with all that said, we are currently looking at our second year. That's right, we got through the first four seasons and now we are on our second spring with 22 days left until summer. Uh, we've got a huge population, 33 adult pips. I even got a little pop-up warning in the last one telling me that events become more and more difficult as we get more and more population. But uh, luckily, the last several events we've had, I want to say every single event in this prophecy was positive, except maybe I missed the first one. No, animals expand. That was positive. Yeah, well, oh, we did get a sickness event. Okay, yeah, so we got 10 sick, or no, we got sick pips for 10 days, but we cured them. And in fact, now we have a bonus where we have a chance to get happy pips each day. And we've got 13 currently. So that means they literally, each one produces one hope. It's amazing. Things have been going really, really well. And we've even got some copper mining up and running. Um, since we've got a whole bunch of labor here, let's go ahead and start training some pips. Get somebody working on that. Oh, we also had an event where some flowers grew just naturally. So I, uh, flowers fall under the, the healing domain or the nature domain. So at some point they might be useful to us whenever we have a need for nature or the cataclysm, uh, domain. But right now, um, our current prophecy, we're just days away from the final thing here which is in the heat domain heat cold and we're killing it we are really rocking and rolling in fact i've decided to go ahead and set up um an alternate well over here that's what this is it's a well under construction four turns yikes but um that's good now let's move over here real quick all right so we've got two fields i'm missing a i'm missing a farmer so i do have an egg hutch being constructed up here because I wanted a second farmer to have a backup job. So what I'm going to do is train another pip. And we are getting pretty low on our tools here. Might not be a bad idea to put a handyman over here. Start producing some more. It's been a while. We've left that thing vacant for a while. Let's go ahead and get some seed producers. Um, I'm pretty sure that I'm totally full on every cottage. I don't have a single spot left to reproduce. But that's okay. That's not the end of the world. Let's see, is there anything else I need right now? Just looking at my chicken operation. We got our butcher. He's rocking and rolling. In fact, I think we can probably take him off because we don't have any yeah, chickens down here to butcher. Let's see if we can lure one in. All right, good. Now, ooh, can we expand into this little area? I don't think so. I still don't know how to remove forest yet. I did unlock the memory of how to do it, but I, I think we might need to research it. I'm not sure. I just, I haven't figured it out, but nonetheless, we got a few pips. Let's build some stuff. I haven't built any stone paving in a while, so let's pave that over. So I removed the building from that location. Can we pave right there? All right, yeah, we can pave right there. Cool, there we go. Time to move on. We're going to try and get through these next couple of events real quick because I do want to see what the next prophecy page looks like, what it has in store for us. So I'm feeling pretty confident on everything except maybe the healing domain we might need a little work on. I mean, I've literally got two healers huts. It's just, oh, this one says it produces nine per turn. Wow. This one's only doing four. Huh. No worries. Uh, let's see here. So we might be better in better shape than I originally thought. Now we've got one tonight. Tonight is the doom event. We got six pawns or pips or whatever you want to call them. Let's use three of them to replant. I often say pawns just because that's what they're referred to as in RimWorld, which is one of my all-time favorite games. I do a lot of RimWorld series on my channel, which... Of course, it, it derives itself a lot from Dwarf Fortress too. So it's it's a I don't want to say it's a clone or a copy, but like it, it's derivative of Dwarf Fortress ultimately. And I'm sure Dwarf Fortress is probably inspired by some other games too. But 
in the long list of base builders, this one is definitely coming in pretty strong with a good showing, in my opinion, right now. Let's lure in another animal. So how's our fields? Okay, those are being grown. We're harvesting, getting a whole bunch of, I don't know what right now. I don't know, but as soon as we get it, we're going to inspect it and probably use it to make something. <laughs> okay, so that's a very vague description, but let's see. I need to find two more jobs. Let's get some seeds going. Uh, how's our wood? Wood's okay. Oh boy, hope is just like taking care of itself thanks to all our happy pawns, which is good. I've got a fisher too. We're actually literally fishing. Oh man, I've got one guy left. Okay, I got an idea. Let's build another one of these little signposts. Or no, hold on. Let's do a paving. Hmm. Let's do it up here. Yeah, I can put it right there. All right. I'm overthinking it, I know, but I just want to do things correctly. I want this village to go as far as it possibly can. And, but with that said, I am really looking forward to the next village that we start. That's going to be good. Okay, Lermo is happy. Ah, uh, here it is. This is it, the big one. Hopefully we'll get a boon. Oh, one short of a new memory. That's okay. Okay, here it is. Wait, I remember that the Doom event was averted. The village got a boon. Okay, here we go. Wooden Piers unlocks the Wooden Piers building. Well, we just, we don't know, do we? No, we have no idea. Huh, Wooden Piers. Research, I mean, that sounds like water, like for boating or something. Research costs reduced by 10. Oh, that's good. All buildings gain plus one if water terrain is within plus one. Huh. I don't know. Okay, so I kind of have a question mark on both Boone Water Lovers and Wooden Piers. Like, this is just, I don't know what Wooden Piers does, but the Water Lovers is also kind of like, um, I'm not sure. So I think I'm just going to go for the straight up reduces research cost by 10%. It's not immense, but it's a good bonus, especially as we get higher in the research cost. That's percent bonus is going to mean more and more. So that's decent. Okay. Oh, well, here's our, our big party. Well done, village elder indeed. Who would have thought? Everybody doubts the elder. What did you say? I said nothing, elder. Then who did? Ah, always so gloomy, elder. You should get some rest. Ah, who the hell are you? Who are you talking to, elder? They cannot hear us. We are the domains. Ah, uh, don't worry, Elder. You have done well so far. We have been preparing you for what is to come. What? You mean you are the one sending me visions? Yes, we have been warning you. This is necessary to prepare you for the apocalypse. What are you blathering about? You must prepare the village. We will help you. The village, uh, the events cannot be avoided, but they will make you stronger. We will meet again. Okay, we just had a, a hallucination. Uh, would you like some water, Elder? You fool! We must focus on the upcoming events. Here we go. Ooh, this one's a bit longer than prophecy number four was. Oh, look at this. Nothing in the sickness event, or in the sickness domain. Hey, sentience, complete the fourth prophecy. I see, I see an unknown event coming. The vision is confusing, but there is hope. We can fight it. Oh, nature. Toolsmith, baby. Oops, I right clicked it by accident. All right, we got our toolsmith up. Look at this. I have 11 points towards my next research. That's crazy. Okay, so what are we doing? Oh, you know what I need to do? Oh, holy crap. I need to build a warehouse for the love of all that is holy. Let's go ahead and upgrade. Oh, is that not upgradable? Oh, that's a whole different thing. All right, hold on. I, yeah, I researched the warehouse and then I never built one. So requires dwelling within one. Let's put it right there. Oh, that's going to be huge. I hope. I don't honestly I have no idea how much this increases, but storage plus 40. Jesus, that is huge. Ooh, I should build two. Should I build two? 
just get all kinds of crazy with it. Let's see here. Where's dwelling? Where's cobblestone? Yeah, so let's do it. I don't care. That's going to be a big fact. Because now I'll never have to worry. Well, not never, but I won't have to worry about over, you know, filling for a while. All right, let's see. We got seven more pips. How's our farmers doing? Okay, they're still farming. Beautiful. These are planted, just growing. Planted. I think most of our berries are done. Oh, is this not being worked on? Yeah, it is. Super slow. It's the most advanced well we have available right now. So, all right, what I wanted to do was get these two pawns. Pawns? I'm going to move them over to here next to this one. Because right now they're not bonusing off of anything. So, while we've got so much additional labor... Oops, that's the wrong one. There we go. Put one there. Ah, I need to be holding shift. I keep forgetting that. All right, I'm going to remember in the near future. No, it's under services. God, why can't I never remember that? And there it is. So putting it next to the water producer will give them a bonus. And I'm going to wait till they're actually constructed. Well, no, I guess I can go ahead and just deconstruct these. The next event here cannot be influenced so it's pointless to worry about it right now uh, unknown event in five days you can influence this one so okay we got 40 points to start with but i'm going to be super cautious and i'm just going to man up our two nature shrines so now we're getting eight plus uh, plus eight per turn let's blow this thing out of the water what do you say okay five pips left jesus okay is everybody over here working yep flowers well, this is what I wanted, right? I asked for it when I uh, overdid it with my health explode or my uh, population explosion. Let's go ahead and start manning some of this. All right, how's our infusion? Okay, we're fine. Don't need to worry there. Get our little butcher work in. We got three people left. Oh, wait. I thought I was training somebody. I was, I promise. Hold on. So we've got one of them is working. Is he like, out? Oh, wait, is there no chickens? Oh, that's what it is. There's no free bird available. Oh, duh. All right, I should have read it. All right, so no big deal then. He's. The, well, I'm sure we have a hunter. He's just not, not needed. So let me think here. Let me figure out what to do. You know what? Hold on. I've got plenty of stone. Let's go ahead and lay some more. Does that remove? I wonder if that removes the bush. We'll see. Let's find out right there. And I'm going to put this one right here. One more. Right there. All right. Oh. Something didn't go through. I still have one pawn left. I'm not sure what I did, but did I misclick and deselect the job? I don't know. Let's just put it right there. Okay, so we are looking at research next. And in terms of construction, I've got it all. I've literally researched everything available on this tab. So I don't know how to get boards. I just, I don't know. But with that said, let's just focus on some other stuff. Now this is interesting. The greater altar. That might be good for getting our nature up some point apothecary interesting now we'll do the greater altar for now let's keep looking though i just want to browse a bit okay cloak maker nah yeah that tab's pretty boring let's see here this one's got a lot still i should be focused on like the greater barbecue probably and i also feel like i should do these well, the hemp field for sure. Let's do that, actually, because I think I can get that done in one turn. Yeah, look at this. It's going to literally complete right now. Okay. Looks like everybody is paved properly. Happy, happy. Very good. Oh, look at our field over here. Hemp field, got it. What's up? Is this thing harvested or? Is that what it looks like after they're harvested? That's weird. Okay, so those things take forever, don't they? One more turn, it'll be done. 
Look at this. Now we got nine research points. So, oh, there's the flower field. Interesting. Windmill. Mechanical. Plus one for each field within one. Plus three during wind events. What? Hold on. What do I, what does this take? Oh, so it's going to help turn the barley into like flour. Okay. We need that. That's what we're going for then. Where's my barley? There it is right there. Plus four barley field. Interesting. Okay. We have five pawns. Let's see here. No cottages or anything. I, I think before I build more, I should probably upgrade, but no worries. You know what I do need to do? Let's get some more thinking posts built. I've got just the spot for one too. So if we come down to services, secluded retreat, I'm going to put them right there. All right, cool. So that's going to take four turns. We got four people. Okay. Put one of them right here on our tomatoes. How are the watchers? Are they working? Everything's coming along. A couple more turns for that. Okay. Uh, let's put one farmer back on his eggs, right? Yeah being planted okay we got two people left let's see here i noticed that the barbecue table went inactive after i paved underneath it for some reason and we're still just killing it on the hope domain cold eh. nature we're doing okay all right let's stay focused here i got two people what can we build what am i missing storage oh the little warehouse yeah i don't care about little ones now um Oh, that's our hemp field. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to actually clear this. Yeah, we don't need that there. All right, we're good to go. I desperately need to figure out how to clear forest. It's, I think that there's a way to do with the lumberjack pawn. Where are my lumberjacks? Let me see if I select a lumberjack. What about this? No? All right. <clears throat> so I've got a lumberjack available. If I come over here. No, that does nothing. Right clicking on the forest itself just brings this up. So that doesn't help. I think there's got to be an option. Can't clear it that way. I figured that out already. Can't pave it. Okay. I think I just, yeah, there's got to be a research that I haven't done yet. Terraforming, snowplow, not applicable. <laughs> All right. All right. I won't worry about it. Oh, All right. Let's pull that farmer back off his eggs. Get over here, buddy. Should I go for three of them? I think I probably should. With the number of populations we have, it's not going to hurt anything. Now, what is going on with our iron? Oh, I mean, our copper. Look at this. Should I build another one? I don't know if I can, actually. I don't think it'll let me, because it has to be adjacent to this, right? Huh. I mean, it's just a slow process, I guess, but that's okay. We'll give it time to build up. I don't really have any applications for them anyway right now, so it's not the end of the world. All right, let's see. There's our water bearer. Nice. Oh, where's the water at? Why can't I see it? Oh, there it is. 36. All right. Pretty soon, in three more turns, that cap, that resource cap, is going to be going through the roof. All right. I still got three freaking people here. Let me see. Hmm. Oh, we got some chickens back. We'll do that. Can we lure one, too? No, we got a baby grown up. How's these? These chickens are fine. Hunters up here are doing good. There's double chickens, so this one is going to be like our big chicken manufacturing all right, well, it's time to build some more stuff then. You know what that means. Let's get the old paving out. Boom. Oh, one more. I think it kind of acts a little bit funny if you do it like on an inhabited building. I don't know. I'm not sure what's happening. I just hit the buttons and I go, look at our hope domain. <laughs> We're crushing it. Windmill complete. There it is. 
our first mechanical structure. So now I kind of want to place it right here in the middle. Okay, so I think that windmill I'm talking about. So I think I'm going to have to wait for a full cycle for this thing to get harvested. And then we'll clear it, which isn't the end of the world. I don't think I need the windmill like right away. What is this? Bakery? Cool. Nice. Soft bread, hard bread. Delicious. Making me hungry. There's such a variety of different stuff in this game. I love it. All right, so this tab is looking pretty good. I don't think I'm going to go for either of these just yet. Okay, let's look at the buildings here. All right, yeah, I'm going to start researching some hut. Uh, I don't know about the cottage because I have to have fabric, apparently. And there's the fabric maker right there. But um, yeah, let's just do a hut. Oops, I think that's a good one to focus on. All right, we got six unemployed pips. Let's check down here. Oh, there we go. Oh, come on with the watchers. I'm just going to go ahead and train a new watcher. That's fine. Having plenty of those, guys. You can always untrain pips, too. This is something another commenter pointed out. If you, I think, right-click. Yeah, over here, if you hold shift and right-click on your pawn, then next to the profession, see where this little X is? If I click that, we can cancel get rid of their job and retrain them without any penalties or anything, I think. So what else are we doing here? Seed wise, we're okay. Is everything Let me close these guys out? Okay. We have no bad pips, no ailed pips. <laughs> uh, let's see. That's being worked on. Oh, I know what I want to do. Now we're going to go ahead and dismantle these. Get rid of those. Good. That leaves us with two free pips. Get that guy. Very good. Okay. We, I can't right click on this. There it goes. I had it for a second. There we go. All right, everybody's good. Let's keep going. Trying to push it. See if we can get to this event right here. Okay. Come on. Good, good. We got four pips. Let's get them on our tomatoes. I'm so anxious for these warehouses to get built. I swear. Cannot wait to see that uh, resource cap just shoot up. Oh, look at my wood. Oh, where's my lumberjacks? Hold on. I should have two. Let me switch that up because now that we're getting our resource cap up, I want to go crazy with the wood. Where's the other one? Okay, we can pull him off there for now. That's totally acceptable. All right, let's uh, let's move it. Let's go. And yeah, now we're getting plus 16 with a deficit of negative 3 on the wood. So that's good for me. Let's just take a quick once over here. Oh, let's replant. The oh, can't, can't, can't. They're all working. Are they both working on this? Well, that's interesting. Well, now I can only assign one. Weird. Well, let's just replant this one now. Huh. So there was two. I wonder if that was a bug or if that's intended to just double up. But then I... I don't know. Oh, well. No big deal. Large warehouse built. Look at that. 160 resource cap. That's so huge. Here we go. The big event. Well, not the big event, but... The first one for this scroll. Chickens? What is it? Hair. Di oh, rabbits. Finally, something, some variety to the diet. Thank God our pawns are going to love it. Oh, I was going to say, did that appear on the chickens? though? No. I think it did. Yeah, we got chickens and hares in the same square now. That's fascinating. So, I don't think I have any research. Well, that's not true, actually. I think this thing might be capable of hunting rabbits, right? Yeah, we can hunt rabbits. It just produces raw meat. It looks like raw white meat. Okay, that's interesting. You know, one thing I never built was the, um, the skinning thing. Where is that? I have to look for that real quick. 
Find out where the skinning item is. Maybe it's under food? Hunting. There it is, skinning rack. Okay, so this can produce feathers and or I assume skins. Let's see, hunting within two critters, two of within critters. There we go. That's perfect. I love it. I'm glad I remembered that. Should we do another one up here, I think? Yeah, we got a hemp field available. What's this? Oh, okay, yeah, yeah. Um, where was it? There it is. Oh, look, the rabbits spread everywhere. No way, that's amazing. All right, I literally have one spot left up here, so this area is now complete. It's amazing, too. Look at the rabbits. I love it. All right, we got one person left. What are we doing here? Domains are looking good. This one's okay. Oh. There we go. Let's train them up. Get ourselves a thinker going. Nice. I think everything is literally perfect right now. Let's hit that space bar. Got one more turn here for the omen incoming. Thinker's only taking one turn. Okay. Oh, what is happening? What the? Stunned? Somebody just got stunned. I don't know what just happened. <laughs> Heightened radiance. Two pips are stunned. Temperature threat increased permanently. Where did that come from? The sun? <laughs> what the hell? I guess the planet just moved into a different rotational axis. I don't know what happened. Oh my god, you know what I just noticed? Look at all the freaking rabbits. Dude, there's rabbits everywhere. Holy Christ, we're being taken over. Is that it? I think that's it. Okay, so there's like one square. I thought this was the only spot for rabbits. No, no, no. What? Look at this. You know what's sad too is I can't do too much over here. I guess I could put something right here. But these things need to be secluded. I might have to move those at some point, but they take a long time to build, as you can see with this one right here. All right, so I literally have only one pip available. How's our fields? Okay. There we go. Okay, let's select our research real quick. What do we want? We're getting close to the end of this screen. No, that's not quite true. So I did my upgrade there. <clears throat> A barbecue, no. All right, I'm going to do the burial site now. Yeah, we can utilize that, actually. That's something I could build right away. So, all right, I think we're good. I'm anxious. Height and radiance, level one. Temperature, oh boy. Let's end it. Let's see what's our next event here upcoming. I don't even know. Where are we? Oh, okay. So, it's literally another temperature event. So... We should be okay. We're producing our maximum for what we've got built. So I could at some point maybe build more, but let's go ahead and progress. Progress this final day here. Okay. I love the way it looks at night. It just doesn't last very long, does it? Maybe at some point we can get some nighttime events. That'd be kind of cool. Vampires coming out. Talk about Dwarf Fortress inspired. All right, well, there we go. That was a quick and easy night. No mini events or anything, but the village is shaping up pretty nicely, guys. We got rabbits literally everywhere now. So thank you guys so much for joining me today. I really appreciate y'all tuning in to the channel. Hit that like button, subscribe if you haven't yet. That would be greatly appreciated. Big shout out to the Patreon supporters out there. Anybody who's interested in helping support me on Patreon and making my dream of one day becoming a full-time YouTuber come true, there is a link in the description. You can donate as little as $2 a month and get access to a private Discord server, exclusive Patreon, Patreon content, and early releases on series I do. Well, with that said, guys, I will see all of you on the next one.